bop. Right, I'm gonna steal ours. Yeah, I'm gonna throw him, I'm gonna throw him, throw him. Bop! And fucking dead. Why is League so seemingly impossible to balance? Well, let's talk about that. Now, before we get into the ass crack ravine that is Riot's balance team. Wow, that actually sounds really nice. <clears throat> now, before we can really understand why this game is so impossible to balance, and more specifically, why new champs feel so much better, we have to question, what makes a champ broken? Is it the fact that they scale way harder than any other champ? Is it the fact that they have more opportunities than any other champ? Is it the fact that even under turret you're not safe from this fucking bullshit? Well, when discussing issues like these, it's best to first break champs down into two different strengths. Mechanical and game sense. Mechanical being the skills you pick up while playing the champ, and game sense being how much you have to focus on while playing said champ. While Lee Sin takes a lot of mechanical skill, the game sense required is, uh, questionable. But when talking about other champs like Vex, where you have an extra resource bar, it requires a lot more game sense. Now, this brings up a dilemma. If the champ takes a lot of mechanical skill or game sense, they must be better. But this is simply not true. So now that we've made that clear, let's completely ignore what I just said and talk about one of League's most mechanically and game sense challenging champions, Azir. Did you know that Azir was originally a champion named Well? N no, like, like, its name is Well. That's it. Well, back in League's beta, Riot really wanted to make a water champion that would create vortexes and storms to wash away the enemy. Riot's champion design team wasn't very capable at the time, so the idea was scrapped and brought back later in the form of... Seth the Sandmage. Seth, are you serious? Well, at least Riot got better at naming champions. Anyways, Seth the Sand Mage was originally supposed to spread sand over the map like Talia, but except for it being anything but helpful, the sand was actually supposed to include bonus damage and range to your abilities. Riot was so lost at this point, in fact, that they even wanted Seth to have a sandworm follow him around and be his sidekick while he kills enemies. Wait a second, that sounds familiar. When was the development of Kindred? Ah, recycling content again, right? I see you. Seth's ult was originally also supposed to be two hands shoving your whole team together. So instead of getting butt fucked one way, you could have experienced getting butt fucked both ways. Riot quickly learned their mistake of trying to include a ton of sand particles into the game and struggled programming it in. So they gave up development and handed it over to Certainly T- Wait, oh god, not Certainly T- Certainly T is a rioter who designs champs for League of Legends. He usually releases everyone's favorite champs such as Darius, Yasuo, Zoe, and the reworked Akali! <laughs> Despite Certainly T's, let's say, unique track record, the new vision of Seth was born. Azir. His name is now Azir. Not much has changed. Oh, you know, except for the fact that summoning soldiers was only one ability, and he could also create windmills of fucking death? Alright. You never fail to disappoint. Anyways, with Azir's new soldiers, he developed a completely new playstyle to the game, one that would provide control over the rift while you team fought. He actually became very strong control mage until nerf after nerf after nerf after nerf after nerf, nailed him into the ground. But as Azir now remains, he will always be on the pendulum between completely useless and so disgustingly broken you wonder why rioters make more than most healthcare workers. Now that we've discussed Azir's development, Riot has certainly learned from their mistakes. So we'll be talking about a more modern champion, Aphelios.
All right, so we made it to Aphelios, and after Azir, let's be honest, I need a break. A champ that's simple and easy and- oh fuck, here we go again. Okay, let's start off slowly by breaking down Aphelios' development. As stated on the Champion Insight, the first line goes as follows. <clears throat> Sometimes when we release a new champion, we're greeted with a chorus of, What the heck, Rito? You've gone too far! Too far! Aphelios is definitely going to get that reaction. And that's fine. In fact, it's great. <laughs> Hi, Ryan. Why did you do this to us? <laughs> Now, I can spend the rest of the video showing you Aphelios one button pentas one after the other, but I think there's more interesting stuff to focus on. Wait, no, you you just wanna see more penna kills? Alright, one more. In the dev blog, it actually mentions that Aphelios was originally supposed to be the first wizard champion in the game. One that didn't rely on having a quick reaction time, but relied more on game sense. Ooh, that's the word! He said the word! One thing led to another, and when a daddy rioter and a mommy rioter love each other very much, they completely change the plans for a champ and give him guns instead! What? What the fuck? So Riot decided on a gun idea and sent him to bot lane to burn in hell like where all marksmen belong. At first, they didn't know what region to put him in. Maybe Zahn with Chemtech weapons? Oh, or maybe Piltover with Clockwork weaponry? But none of these really fit his personality. Ah, fuck it, we'll throw him in Targon. The amount of lore there is lacking anyways. After this, they decided to build on his lore in the form of Alune. Alune spent her life training to be an oracle to harness the moon's magical light to reveal hidden truths and pathways, whereas Aphelios trained to eliminate any who would do the Lunary harm. The pair represents two sides of the Lunary faith, magical mysticism and grounded realism, and the connection they share manifests multiple ways in-game. And when I say multiple ways, I mean they can read each other's thoughts. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? To communicate this way, Aphelios has to drink a poison that gives him a connection to his sister, Alun. Now, let's talk about his gameplay. I think I need to address the elephant in the room right now. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? What you are looking at is Aphelios' unique HUD, since his kit would look too complicated for the standard 4 array. Here is a quote from Kindle Jack. It was a really cool and scary moment. I'd never done anything like this before. And no, that's not a quote about his sex life. That's a quote made after deciding on the shape of the HUD. His HUD isn't the only unique thing, but the interesting shape of his weapons are too. Each of his weapons provide a different combo that can be used in combat, and the infamous Infernamult is what you see during every Aphelios Pinta montage ever. Now, Riot does state that because you can't choose what gun you get next, that they can make some of the combinations extremely broken. Excuse me? Do they expect everyone else on the map to read Aphelios' Bible so they know when they're about to combust into flames after slightly in the FOV of this champ? Now, before I get too far ahead of myself, I need to mention that just because this game is hard to balance, you did this to yourself, Riot, does not mean that you have to play a champ like Aphelios. In fact, he's so complicated that his win rate is below average along with more mechanically packed champions. And this brings me to my final point. Easy champs and mostly older champs are just as effective in most scenarios and activate more feel-good neurons in the brain with less work. Now, playing a mechanically hard champ may be more enjoyable to some of you watching, but with simplicity comes consistency, as explained by Professor Tyler. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Like I was saying, playing easy champs allows you to focus on other parts of the game. Hey, hey, bot lane. Hey, 
In bot lane, you can look at your minimap now. This is why people will still play Mundo after they release whatever the hell this is. Because they see champ, they hit champ, they kill champ, feel good, I feel good. Altogether, League will never be balanced in the end due to the more mechanically engaging champs existing. And this isn't a bad thing, even though, e even though sometimes it feels really bad. But it also doesn't mean that these newer champs filled to the brim with mechanics are any better. Especially at my elo. I mean, come on, any champ is effective. I would like to thank you all for watching. And smash, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already so you can follow up on my newer videos. Have a good day. Sum up. Out.